there for the things that they've done in that past game. But anyway, let's focus on the future as uh, we are heading straight into this battle between both of these players. Silent Doom looking at Salem and Ally. These two actually haven't played in quite some time. They haven't played at all this season, so it really could go either way. You know, both of them are incredibly smart, incredibly cerebral players, and it'll be really interesting to see how they constantly adapt to each other's tricks. Yes, both of these characters have such great combo ability. The scary thing about Bayonetta is that she has a lot of great tools that can open up the, her combo game. And as you can see right there, from that immediate side beat from the edge. Yes, once again, this is such a, like a cornerstone of Salem's gameplay. He's very much content to play in the corners and then instantly strike at you with that afterburner kick. And I really love how safe he's playing here too because things like this can force a player to overextend, you know? If they get impatient and actually you know, throw out something that is like really errant, that will actually give you the opportunity to get that free punish that you wanted. That said though, a player of Ally's caliber, a player of his experience, is not one too privy to doing those sorts of overextensions. But at the moment, Salem is just in control. Not so much that Ally is making too many fatal errors, it's just that Salem just seems to be a step ahead. One thing that I see from Salem too is that his style is almost similar to the way Komo Rikiri was playing against Ally. You know, Ally, definitely not a stranger to seeing people who want to play the anti-grab game versus him, you know? They're like, okay, we understand that you have a great combo game, but you ha I have to let you get within range for that. And there it is. He opts for that down tilt, missing it smart, giving that free grab, but the bat's within, allowing him to escape. And it's interesting right there, like, Salem hadn't committed to too many attacks as he was jumping across the platforms. And the moment that he did one at that mid-range, Ally had scouted it and got a punish. That's it, and right now, Ally, nice patience. Mm, beautiful patience coming up from Ally right there. He definitely anticipated that, which time, you know, many other players, they would try to exert platform pressure immediately. But Ally, knowing the presence, just his presence alone is enough to apply pressure was patient. Oh man, and two times right there, Salem just able to consistently catch the landing from Ally, allowing him to get back on stage, and now we have Salem dancing on the platforms yet again. Meanwhile, Ally patiently on the ground. He doesn't want to overcommit to Bayo flying in the skies, but <laughs> he's throwing out these up smashes, trying to catch maybe a random landing. Yes, letting Salem know that, you know, this is not a safe zone. You better be careful. Once oh. again, waiting for the witch time. Very, very smart. A lot of times you see players go for a lot of these actions with Bayonetta in midair, and then when you think you can punish, they pull out the witch time. Ally understands this and waits for the opportunity to strike. Now we saw a quick double up smash from Ally there. I actually really like that, but missing the tech on the uncharacteristic of a player of Salem's caliber. One thing to note is the fact that there are multiple hits right there, and sometimes that can throw players off guard. So great stuff right there, Ally able to actually get back on stage and get the lead when Salem was playing so solid at first. And now with this lead, he knows that he can be the one in the driver's seat. He can be the one playing the more patient game. Salem now has to be the one to try and commit to attacking to him, but that back air more than enough to take the stock. Yeah, when I saw that spot dodge from Salem, I actually started feeling like Ally was getting in Salem's head. Salem right there, getting a little bit too close for comfort, giving Ally that free grab. Uh-oh. This forward is applying so much pressure, the trade now, Salem with a very, very slight lead. Man, this, this definitely can be a really tough one for Mario. We saw Ally versus Mistake yesterday, and that was such a scary set for Ally. That was a real nail bite. I believe he only won 3-2. Very, very close. Arrow indeed. The combos. Okay, Ally able to escape. Back on the ground yet again. Look again, like beautiful stuff from from MVG Salem, just kind of weaving back slightly with that back air so that he could drift off and then quickly counter-attack with that afterburner kick. Nice, we saw Salem getting that perfect shield, allowing him to immediately punish Ally for that approach. That is Ally forced to have to recover high. I mean, seeing that forward smash would scare me to recover high too. <laughs> oh, definitely. The giant fist, really, really intimidating from Bayonetta. Really scary hitbox. Okay, are we gonna see the back airs? Instead, Ally sneaking in from above with the down air. Yes, very, very rare option that he hasn't gone for, so a good mix-up from Ally, and that is what's so good about his play. He has to be crafty with the options that he goes for in these sorts of disadvantageous positions. Ally, looking for a grab. Possibly even something else. We've seen an up air and down air that helps whenever his opponents like to short hop a lot. There's the up air. 
Oh, oh if he got that up till that might have been something huge, D1. Oh, indeed. These tri platform layouts definitely help out Mario when it comes to the combo game. Watch this. Just a simple neutral get up this time. Forward throw, not quite enough. Taping those bullets right there. Able to come back on stage. Salem trying to apply little bits of pressure here and there. Okay. Patiently waiting the center stage. Wanting to coax Ally into some kind of offensive option, but Ally knowing better. Remaining vigilant himself. Uh-oh. This great conversion right there off of the dive kick. A move that definitely got reworked, but it worked it helped so much in the end game. Yes. As you can see right there with Salem taking the first game over Ally. Yeah, you re it's really good at catching people off guard. Uh, that combo at that percent possible DI away might have saved him, but Ally wasn't expecting it there, and he got punished accordingly for it. Really good first game, though. I mean, it was a lot of back and forth stuff. Every time we felt like we knew where things would go, we just saw like things shift, right? Yes. A tug of war of control when it comes to these players. But here it is, game two, we're back on Battlefield, and I think this is a smart decision by Ally. Oh, the jab lock! Oh no, he didn't get as much as we really anticipated, but still carrying on the combo. A respectable 40%. Yeah, that was definitely an interesting scenario right there, seeing that the restand. Uh oh, here it is. Double back here coming out from Ally. Now Ally, trying to go for the back here, has great range. Salem unable to escape with that roll. Bayonetta's roll, not quite good. Even though it does have those bat within frames at the start, it's not very good in terms of distance and yeah. cooldown. That's it. Beautiful patience waiting for that air dodge coming out from Ally. Oh, actually was able to get the grab. Seeing the distance too between both of the players. Okay, nice by Salem. Just took the flood right there. Tried to drift back on stage. But that back air, one of the best back airs in the game. Yes, yeah, so fast and so strong with how much range it has. It's it's a relatively low commitment move, but incredibly rewarding. Down throw into the forward air. Barely, barely missed. Good DI from Salem. Absolutely. There's a chase again from Ally. There's the down air. I was waiting for it sooner than uh, later. Salem carefully, carelessly on that top platform, finding his way down and getting a launcher. Waiting for the air dodge once again. A good SDI once again coming out from Ally. I love that chase. He waited for that. Which time? And there it is. Wait a second. The Incredibly special attacks come deep. back. Yes. A throw KO is imminent. Absolutely. And even though he wasn't able to get the kill right there, he tacked on a good, respectable amount of damage. Salem recognizing the fact that he's at high percent. Tried to escape. Allies said, nope, my up air will KO at this percent. Great stuff. A chunky punish coming out from MVG Salem. 114. Oh, look at that interesting trade. 0% inflicted right there on Salem with that super jump punch. Another trade situation, but finally, <laughs> Ally's still not able to get what he needs to. 140%. He really wants to tack on a little bit more extra credit damage. Ally still trying to sneak back in. Nice. Right there by Salem. He's just covering everything. You see the up airs. He gets this grab. That going oh. to be enough? No, not quite. The large blast zones, of course, of Battlefield saving Ally in this instance. And Ally actually getting knocked right back on stage with that up air as Salem was holding it, allowing him to be a threat yet again. Another forward throw coming out. And impressive. Not enough. Stale. And I feel like if Salem gets another grab, he might opt for a down throw to try to act as a DI mix-up, or he can pull Scout out of that back air and get the stop nonetheless. And here comes Ally again. Just following these full jumps off the top platform, on the side platform. Looking for an opening. Respecting the witch twist right there. You saw the retreat on that back air. Yes. Very, very smart play coming out from Ally. He's not overcommitting to anything. He wants to be able to apply this pressure with movement so that Salem isn't content with what he's doing, but he's doing it in a very safe and calculated way. And right there, was able to get the up air, but Salem understanding that he was able to just cut, uh, just interrupt the combo. I mean, four frames right there with the witch twist. Why not? Yes, yeah, so, so fast and such a big hitbox on that move. Once again, we see the bait of the witch, witch time. Uh oh, here comes Ally. Gets a little bit of damage right there. With that juggle. And I'm liking the way that he's using 
the back air to kind of inject some immediate pressure uh, versus Salem. We see that he's being very patient in trying to force openings, but sometimes that back air is just a really great instant option. And the forward smash calling out that jump from a mile away. Angling it downward as well. Great stuff by Ally. I feel like you know things were getting scary when we saw Ally on the top platform, right? He was taking a lot of shield damage and still was able to just act actually just hold down the right side of the stage, not letting Salem get back on. Putting him in a really good situation now. One and one. Very, very difficult stuff. Ally's showing the people that he still got it, man. Do not do not sleep on him at all. Turning back to Battlefield for this game three. MVG Sam seems to be content with his strategy currently. Yes, I mean, hanging out on the platforms is, uh, has been working out so well for him, right? Forcing Ally to have to play a reactive kind of uh, play style. Then again, at times, even trying to predict the movement. Vortex is coming out from Salem. So, so effective right there. Taking on a big chunk of damage, but I like the idea of that air dodge coming out from Ally. He was anticipating a more immediate option from Salem, but Salem delayed it ever so slightly. But the big combo coming out from Ally, a chunky 74% already. Oh, and right there, Ally committing a bit to the super jump punch. Let's see, able to avoid that up air, but Salem putting himself in a great position to land that back air. And now, Ally taking so much damage, still fighting back. Finding an, an ample amount of time. Oh my goodness, that was that chase. incredible coverage coming out from Ally. Beautiful work with the neutral end down smash. Such awareness of the platform positioning. And you see him going for these up smashes. He ha has to watch out because, you know, the witch time. I mean, if he shows that he's committing to an up smash, Salem could just jump into it in witch time. Yeah, he could. We saw the attempt of an up smash. And as you said, <laughs> what I tell you? There it is. Great punish by Salem. Replying right there to Ally, he's like, I see your up smashes, but I don't know why you ain't keeping it to yourself. <laughs> well, nice whistle to evade, a potential punish. Very, very close with that forward smash. Not enough. Nice escape right there by Salem. Going back to the top plat. Oh, that shield is getting low, <laughs> man. <laughs> Salem coming down to play just for a second and runs away. Now watch. As Ally stays on the platform, if he keeps his shield up all that time while Salem doesn't do anything, that actually whittles down his shield longer. Yes, very bit by bit. And we know that Salem does like to apply pressure with the up air, but the forward smash taking the stock, an unsafe heel slide on the ledge. The patient stuff again. Oh, witch twist. Ally escaping, which shows that he definitely understands how to deal with this matchup. In order to fight this character, you know, you have to be a little bit more different in comparison to fighting other characters in Smash, right? You have to have that SDI. Yeah, she requires a lot of thought, a lot of careful counterplay in order to combat her, and that's why she's so effective and such a threat at the top level. Exactly. Oh, saw the back air and immediately backed off. Said, okay, I respect that move, but it's cool. Nice. Beautiful catch on the roll coming out from Salem. He's very, very good at that in general, anticipating your defensive options. Very good smash there right there by Ally after getting caught by that up tilt. Such an amazing anti-air. And able to get really good conversions to a higher percents too for Bayonetta, right? Yeah. It's a scary move. Salem is just, the way he just uses all of his options is just so, so prominent and evident in the way that he's able to apply them in his gameplay. But once again, returning to this patient, platform-oriented gameplay from Salem. Ally, he needs more damage right here, looking for an opportunity. Wait, Salem just came through when Ally least expected it, throwing Ally off stage. Okay, escaping the ledge trap situation. He's able to take center again. Now Ally just trying to find his way. Gets a little bit of a punish, but not too much off of that grab. Okay, doesn't have to worry about that witch twist. Had to shield up. Is again, Ally looking for an opportunity to strike. These full hops, he just wants Salem to just come on, get out of that shield, That's go for it. that witch time. I want, I want this bait. But Salem, of course, being the incredible player that he is, he is not fighting in this instance. Oh, there's that dive kick. But Ally able to escape. Oh no, he lands into a forward throw. Double jumps rather early. No offstage edge guard right there by Salem. Tries Great. to reset. Great coverage coming out with that up air into the forward throw. And now Ally needs to find a way back down. But the back air, giant kick, enough to take out 
Allied second stock and game three going to Salem. Very, very, very strong play. You saw how he just kept resetting those situations, trying to throw Ally off stage, right? Noticing how sometimes Ally, as he comes from the platform, he, he goes for the jump, ledge jump, and then he'll try to air, uh, air dodge towards yes. center stage. Salem, on top of this, immediately went for center and just back aired him for it. Wait a second. We're going to have yet another Diddy Kong guy. I actually did see Ally practicing this earlier. I hadn't seen any of Nairo's, but I feel like this is a possibility. Look at Salem. He's like, yeah, I'm really all going to just play Diddy Kong right now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and it's here. It's here, the normal Diddy Kong with that red T-shirt. The times have changed, ladies and gentlemen. People now are like, okay, well, you know, in order to counter this character, I'm going to have to play another character than my main. So be it. Let's see what Ally does here in Game 4 of Town & City. In order to have a future in this game, we're going to have to step back into the past. Diddy Kong, of course, was dominant back in the early days of Smash 4. Oh, yes. A character that had a lot of great true combos from throw, I must say. And an incredibly powerful up air as well. Oh, yes. The frame data on it was great. The hitbox was amazing. There were so many memes that were generated from it, too. Ah, uh, those were the days. Combo breaking with up air. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. Let's not. So anyway, here we <laughs> go, guys. <laughs> Ally. Trying to see what he can do here. You know, that banana can set up for some really great pressure. A lot of times you see players, they pay, wait patiently to see what the Diddy will opt for after they go for the banana toss. You know, banana toss the down tilt being such a great frame trap. Usually they wait for that pressure, and then they'll respond accordingly once they see the down tilt. On the other hand, Diddy's nowadays especially have been very, very smart and crafty with how they're applying ban uh, banana to shield. Sometimes they'll throw it down in a bait to try and force the opponent to react to something else and then punish afterwards. Absolutely. We did see that from Nairo in the winner's semis. Here we go. Ally trying to get that banana toss, but actually, so he wasn't able to hit, hit the shield or actually hit Salem, but he forced Salem into the air, and that allowed him to find the forward air. Yes. Oh, was that a bait? These short hops. Ally's like, hey, look at me. I'm in the air. Try to side B me. <laughs> oh, oh he got that him. time he gets him. <laughs> he was like, darn it. All right, all right. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Ally not losing a stock for that. Not too bad. Banana. 130 to 76. It's going to need a little bit more work on the Ally's part in order to get this stock from Salem. Ooh, and Salem stealing that banana, but again, putting himself in the air, giving Ally another aerial to tack on 4%. Now the current positioning of Ally, he's just trying to remain in a position where he's relatively safe versus Salem's offense, but he can reactively punish. Ally running all the way to the other side just to get that banana toss. And that, I mean the banana pull, rather. Let's see? Once again, standing in center, waiting for Salem to overcommit to something. But Salem is not biting. He is such a patient such an experienced player. Yep, Salem, I mean, he does have the lead. He's quite content with running the clock. It is a viable strategy. He is enjoying that uh, that ledge hang animation of Bayonetta's. Uh-oh. Ally actually getting that percent. Again. <sighs> Stuck in the corner. Interesting, though, Ally didn't really attempt to apply any kind of ledge pressure, but <laughs> finds the immediate up smash. Where the Mario could not find the up smash, the Diddy Kong was able to. And there it is, striking back with the forward throw. Salem and Ally, last stock each, both at low percents here. Oh, okay, early. There it is. That's what I wanted to see, actually, the back airs. We saw that in the combo from Zero many times, and Nairo also did it too earlier against Salem. Space perfectly outside that range of the heel side and able to give immediate grab. That's it. Quick banana combo over. This will be big damage coming out from Salem. The oh. balloon interrupting the combo. Right there, Ally just keeping it going regardless. Trying to find the spike, but Salem saying, nope, not today. Excellent re grab on the landing. Oh, he jumps to get the catch. That was so good, but unable to get the final up air. Forward throw. Has to grab a banana. Yes, very smart stuff by Ally. Yes, now he can apply the ledge pressure that he needs, but Salem able to land on stage. And Salem, if you notice, back to the edge. If he gets caught by the banana, he falls off, re grabs the edge. Not a bad situation for him. Oh, 
Very nice, using the downward throw to apply that additional pressure. And then forward throwing him off the stage. Pretty much a dead even game, only a 10% lead for Salem. That said though, this is Ally's tournament stock. He really needs to make it count. He needs to find that clutch play in order to seal the game and bring this to a game five situation. Yep, right now, Salem is definitely threatening. He's moving forward a bit more now. Grab! Oh, into the up air! It is not enough! He actually was able to... Yes, he got the DI! Recovering on stage, free forward oh, throw so opportunity! Risky. High recovery, again! Oh, that was good from Ally this time, recovering to center stage as well. And he's got him pinned in the corner with a banana. Oh, actually oh, expecting a jump! Expecting a roll in! There's a fourth throw, Ally! Ally being a little bit too ambitious with a lot of these reads. Expecting maybe Salem to go for it like a short hop back here. There's the forward throw at the end of Ally's run, finishing in fifth place. That was such an immediate forward throw response. I wasn't even sure if it was going to get the stock there, but it was enough in that instance to take the game and take the set for Salem. He will be progressing on to losers in seconds. Yes, 3-1. Uh,